Hey everybody, I'm Brittany. I'm a volunteer for the CRPS Warriors Foundation. Today we're going to talk about acceptance. Acceptance is a way of coping. When you're a kid, the big question that you're always asked over and over again is, what do you want to be when you grow up? How many times did that change for you? When we're an adult, circumstances that are out of our control, like a new job, a new significant other, a death in the family, changes in our finances, all these things are out of our control but we adapt and adjust who we are to overcome these circumstances. So what makes being diagnosed with CRPS any different? I think that the difference is, is that CRPS challenges who you believe you are. You're not just adapting to surroundings around you. So this can make us feel less equipped to deal with these situations and to be able to adapt. And acceptance takes time, but acceptance is key to being able to move forward in this. It has its ups and downs. It's not always easy, it's very emotional. Acceptance is not giving up. Acceptance is simply facing the reality of today, not giving up hope for the future, but making the best of the situation that you're given. We need to deal with difficult emotions. It's very, very important. And a lot of the videos that I've been doing lately have been about challenging these negative thoughts and these behaviors and being able to view things more positively because I feel this is very important and I wanna give as many options to warriors out there to try to see if it makes a difference for them. So don't try to resist or avoid the hurtful feelings and emotions that you may be experiencing. By pushing those feelings away, you're actually triggering a vicious cycle that makes it more painful and harder to heal from in the long run, because that's where these bad behaviors, that's where all this stuff lives. So take a step back, separate yourself from your thinking self and your observing self. What your brain is telling you may not be true and you are more than what you think that you are. Pause and don't react on emotional impulses. Allow yourself to feel it though. And this is where a support system can really come in handy. It's very therapeutic to be able to get these thoughts and feelings out of you. So if you have somebody that you can confide in that will just listen, this is where they come in handy. Next is self-acceptance. Your story is very important to your self-identity. This is where you need to separate yourself from who you think you should be and who you are. There's a difference between accepting it, this illness and accepting yourself with this illness. Most of us would be very accepting to somebody else that has this. So why can't we be accepting of ourselves? Try not to fully identify yourself with your body, with how you look, with your limitations. This is all of you and none of you at the same time. The roles you play in the relationships you have and your illness do not define who you are as a person. You still are an individual. You still have your own hopes, your own dreams, and your own funny little quirks. And that makes you, you. A lot of a warrior's worry is how people are gonna view you, what they're gonna think of you, what you can't do for them now. It's okay to be selfish. Don't worry about what other people think don't worry about what you can do for them because the people that love you, that stuff is not going to matter. So silence that inner critic. Don't compare yourself to other people and be the best version of your current self. So don't focus on the weaknesses you have and the limitations you have. Focus on your strength and celebrate those. And reconstruct your life in a very positive way that most other people never have the opportunity to do. What's important to you? Is it spending time with your loved ones? Is it going on adventures? Is it learning as much as you can? Is it making a difference in the world? Is it leaving a legacy behind? Clarifying those values for you makes it easier for you to build a new life. Then you'll have a clear vision of how you want to live. The other big thing is unpredictability and uncertainty. Having CRPS is very unpredictable. You could go to bed today feeling 100%, wake up tomorrow feeling 5%. You just don't know. Uncertainty is not new. The limitations that you're experiencing, the pain you're feeling, that's new. That's something you have to cope with over time. But uncertainty has always been there. This is where, when we were kids and when we were adults, we have always adapted. We've always adapted to change, whether it comes out of nowhere or not. Sometimes now, as a CRPS warrior, we feel unequipped to be able to do that. When we find out who we are now, we will feel equipped again. The only thing predictable in life is unpredictability. Try your best to embrace it. If you have the willingness to embrace uncertainty, you will understand that there are no absolutes in life. 
everything is subject to change and everything is subject to unpredictability. And it's always been that way. That's not new. So trust your ability to cope and think of uncertainty and unpredictability this way. It's an exciting prospect, even though it may sound negative. It simply means that anything and everything can happen. It leaves that possibility for anything. That's what makes true hope possible. Having a destination in mind, but being open to all the roads that may lead you there. Even if that means that the journey is entirely different than you think it's going to be. That's what makes everything exciting. That this uncertainty that is so hard for any of us to cope with simply means anything is possible. So please don't lose hope and know that that is what real hope is is made of and that you got this. Redefining yourself and who you are. Remember, uncertainty has always been there. We've always adapted to it. We have changed our life view and who we are and our goals over and over again in this life. You're not your illness. You have your strengths. Find them, focus on them, and develop them. Be confident in who you are, and let's start on that journey to rediscovering yourself and figuring out who you are and how you can be the best version of yourself and who you are today. Thank you.